Good afternoon, friends. Let us take some time out of our busy and uncertain lives for some reflection and prayer. So at my home, there are a lot of hymnals that were left behind from the people who lived here before me. And often I love to look through them and see what the various hymns are that are in them. Now, I'm not somebody who can read music or sing all that well. So what I like to do is read the lyrics and see how they may speak to me at any given moment. As I was thinking about our world and all that we are going through in this strange time, I found the hymn, In Christ There is No East or West. Now, it's one that some of you may know, but the lyrics take on a very special meaning right now. I invite you to close your eyes and take a deep breath as I read these lyrics to you. In Christ there is no east or west, in him no north or south, but one great fellowship of love throughout the whole wide earth. In him shall true hearts everywhere their high communion find. His service is the golden cord, close binding all mankind. Join hands, then, siblings of the faith, whatever your race may be, who serves my father as a son is surely kin to me. In Christ now meet both east and west, in him meet south and north. All Christly souls are one in him throughout the whole wide earth. Now in this time, I have seen a lot of folks blaming each other for what is happening. We sometimes forget that we are all in this together, that we all need each other, that even in the isolation that we are being asked to do for the benefit of those in our communities whose immune systems are not as good, we need to remember that all of us are important that all of us have a place, all of us have a purpose, and that at this time, it's not about figuring out who has done wrong, who don't we agree with, who are we frustrated with at this moment. No, that's not what matters at all. What matters is that Christ is with all of us, and commanded all of us to love each other, our neighbors as ourselves, and love him with all that we have. In Christ, there is no east or west, no south or north, because Christ is in all of us. Christ doesn't pick who is his favorite? No, because we are all his favorite. And now more than ever, we need to remember that Christ calls us into community. And while the community may not look like going to church on Sunday morning, as it did just a few weeks ago, we still are community together. Whether we email each other, we call, we use Facebook Messenger. We send out the regular, hey, how's it going? I've been thinking about you. We send letters and cards and maybe go grocery shopping for our friends and neighbors who need a little extra help right now. Because in Christ, there is no east or west no south or north, because he abides in us and we abide in him. And in this time, we are still called to be together, to work together, to love each other, even though we don't know what may happen tomorrow, next week, next month. 
No, what we do have control over is loving the people around us and doing what we can to remind them that Christ loves them too and that they are loved just as much as you are. So friends, let us close in a prayer that is found in the Book of Common Prayer, which is an Episcopal resource. Close your eyes and join me as we pray for the human family. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That, in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Remember that God loves you, Christ loves you, and I love you. Amen.